Today I'm in the barn puttering away on my uh, yard art project here. That's coming along all right. Uh, things started going much better once I got it through my thick skull that this is not a tractor restoration. This is yard art. All I really need is the chassis and sheet metal wheels and tires. All the fussy little bits that are hard to paint can go away. So uh, that's what I'm doing. One thing I did, uh, of course, when I took this tractor apart, it had the wide front on it, which I used on my other WD-45. And somewhere along the line, I apparently scrapped out the narrow front for this thing. I, it, uh, it must have got scrapped uh, during one of my rare cleanup binges. So uh, what I did instead, I just took a piece of channel iron and a piece of uh, steel tubing and uh, sort of welded up a faux front end. Uh, again, this is yard art. I have a couple of... Uh, of wheels with tires on them. The tires are no good, but I'll paint the wheels up. Now just, uh, my plan is just to drill a hole through that, run a piece of uh, ready rod through it and kind of bolt the wheels up to the side while this pedestal sits on a block and uh, it'll look fine. Also, I've been, uh, I did patch up the fenders a little bit. I took these fenders apart. I thought maybe if they were in better shape than the ones on my other WD, I might swap them out. But they're not. So I just kind of patched over some of the places where it was rusted out. And I will, uh, I will clean these up and paint them. The gas tank, hood, and uh, radiator cowl. Those I need to take up to the uh, up to the shop and uh, use the DA or dual action air sander on those because those are really what people will uh, notice from the road and uh, that's what uh, what I want to put my efforts into uh, making. <laughs> I've got the gas tank, the radiator cowling, and the hood sanded down pretty good and uh, wiped down. And uh, I think I'm about ready to start throwing a little bit of primer on them. Yeah, I almost feel guilty putting this much effort into something like this. But uh, it has kind of inspired me that I think next year's winter shop project is definitely going to have to be painting my grandfather's WD-45, so I guess I can look at it as uh, this is good practice for that. I've got two coats of primer on this stuff and had it uh, dry overnight. So now I'm going to make them orange. All right, two coats of orange paint on the fuel tank, the hood, and the radiator cowl. I've also done the uh, those uh, fender brackets there got two coats of paint on them. So I think I'm going to stoke up the wood furnace in here and let these sit here and dry overnight. And tomorrow I will bring up the fenders, sand them off, and uh, prime and paint them. This morning I managed to grab a couple of steers, so I uh, loaded them up and took them for a ride to the sale barn. The uh, Frontier handles the 16-foot cattle trailer pretty well, as long as I don't go crazy loading it. <laughs> the uh, Actually, this thing has about the same capabilities as the half-ton trucks did 30 years ago. So, overall, after six months, I'm pretty happy with the Frontier. This morning I've got the fenders sanded down and primed on both sides. So now I'm going to let them sit in here and dry for a few hours and then put some paint on them. 
I put two coats of paint on the fenders and then let them dry overnight. And now this morning I have bolted the mounting brackets onto them. So now I guess it's on to the chassis. I've got the sheet metal situation pretty well under control. So now it's time to move on to the chassis. I've been uh, working on it with the wire brush here today in between uh, painting the sheet metal. And uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different on the chassis here. Uh, I could buy a whole bunch of uh, rattle cans and keep after it, but uh, well, about, I don't know, 30 years or so ago, I had a D17 around here. I bought one at auction. Uh, it was running really crappy. So I bought it extremely cheap, got it home and found out it was just a bad plug. So uh, I, uh, I had intentions at one time of painting that D17. So I uh, bought a couple of quarts of Alice Chalmers orange paint and of course sold the D17 before I had a chance to do that. So the bottom line is I've got a couple of quarts of this uh, Alice Chalmers orange paint that's been sitting on a shelf up in my shop for, la for the last 25, 30 years, something like that. It sounds like it's still liquid. So uh, I've got some old paint brushes and I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try dabbing paint on the chassis here with the uh, with this old, old paint I have and uh, see what happens. I don't know, maybe it'll be a big mess, but uh, like I said before, this is yard art. It, uh, if it looks halfway as decent uh, from the road, that'll all be good. So, well, let's see what happens. The chassis is now orange. I think I'm going to let this dry for a while and then I might bring the sheet metal down and do a little bit of a mock-up. Okay, I've got it mocked up. Uh, I still got some touching up to do. As you can see, that uh, piece underneath the gas tank is not painted yet. But, uh, yeah, all in all, I think it'll do. I uh, need to remember that it will be sitting 60 feet off the road, so it, uh, it should look just fine. These uh, these tires and wheels are actually from a uh, international combine. The original power shift wheels on this rusted out. So a friend of mine gave me these. So they uh, they get the job done just fine. Uh, the one on this side is. Uh, dished out and the one on the other side is dished in that's just the way the tires got mounted on the combine I guess but uh, yeah this works fortunately uh, even though the uh, the rims are uh, mounted differently uh, it's impossible to see them both at the same time anyway, so that'll be just fine. So, yeah, this uh, this is probably uh, probably the last video I'm going to do on this project until I uh, get it in place down by the road. Of course, I'll, I'll take the sheet metal back off it. I got some more touching up to do. I have to... Uh, I have to... <laughs> find the wheels and tires which are uh, buried in a snowbank right now so probably in about uh, a month and a half two months we'll be getting this together and uh, getting in place down there so yeah it's been kind of interesting I know that one thing I have decided for sure that at some point this year I am going to take my grandfather's WD-45 out of service and begin doing a restoration on it. I've been threatening to do that for a few years and uh, I think it's about time that stopped being an idle threat. So I wanna, I wanna get that done, so. So that's what I've been doing this week, playing a little bit with my yard art project. So until next time, have a good day.
Long